So this war, I have been trying to figure out a couple different teams that I can use that have James in it. And I figured out two different teams that work fairly well. And as you also see, I've started to use my veteran rings because I figure by the time I get James maxed out, I'm going to have a bunch of extra rings anyway. So I may as well use my investment on the tunes that I'm using now and the tunes that I can foresee myself using in the future. So this first team combines a Camilla lead who has plus 40 attack and a huge bonus to AP when attacking. Her rush provides focus. It burns the enemy and applies damage to a single tune. She can give herself AP and recover stun with her active skill as well. Lily is a great disarm tune. She's actually in the premier recruits right now. She has some superb control abilities, not only being a disarm tune, but on her rush, she can remove defensive buffs on the opponent, so on the one tune and all tunes adjacent, and then also her active skill can stun and apply 100% heal reduction to that enemy. Cole is another great control tune. I run him on offense and defense sometimes. So because he can taunt on the first turn, he's great for controlling enemies, getting shields to attack, and just kind of opens up the field to gain some AP on the first turn. And he also has a disarm weapon attached to him, so when he's attacked, he has a chance to disarm the enemy. He's a berserker tune, so he gains attack when he receives damage. And then also his rush taunts the enemy, as well as attack down. I believe is applied to three of them and now moving on to Sean Sean is a heavy hitter he's a waste not tune and as you see I have his attack almost as high as James's attack but the difference is Sean is maxed out and he is 25 for 30 veteran levels while James is still a tier 1 s class this just gives you an idea of how powerful the s class is now I know a lot of people ended up going with Krista I like James myself, I find I have better tunes to support him with, and I do know that Krista is quite good, I've gotten to use her as a support tune, and I think both both tunes are really good choices, and I'm very happy that I picked up James myself, and I know many people are very happy that they picked up Krista. So this team that I'm running just is a huge damage output team. The idea is to try and finish some matches in three turns, sometimes less actually, so that's been a highlight. Now the other team that I've been trying with as well that's almost the exact same is Dale instead of Cole. So what I like about Dale is that he can focus my whole team, apply 100% heal reduction to all enemies on the other side. He has a bound impair weapon on him so when he's attacked he can impair the enemy. His rush can defense down the opponent as well as apply maim damage to all of them, which can also break guardian shields. He's just a really good control tune, and having that command can be really useful, especially if I need to rush Camilla in order to focus my team for a second in order to get around a shield, or Lily if I want to try and disarm multiple tunes or stun them. He's just a great anchor tune to have, and I gave him some veteran rings as well because I run him on a few different teams. And now when we get into a bit of a game film for it, you'll see that I do have a buff attached to my team, and that's basically just affecting Cole. The other one is just for AP gain. But as you see, my team hits very, very hard. So it's kind of nice to be able to finish matches this fast. It kind of reminds me of when we had turn three attack teams and those were the norm. Well, it's kind of coming back, especially with the S-Class that's been released. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I thought the whole idea of releasing tunes like Payback Tunes and Bide Tunes was to slow down attacks, yet we seem to be speeding right back up again, as if we were just picking up where we left off last. Except now teams are costing $2,000 a tune, and so on. So far, I've really enjoyed this attack team. It is not effective against all teams, but it is pretty good against most teams. And I feel like the more comfortable I get with it, the better I will become using it. I also think that uh, leveling up Camilla will be super helpful because she is not maxed out yet. And even her active skill isn't completely maxed out, which would have helped me in a few situations where one of my tunes did get stunned. So that's something that I can also look forward to 
uh, as I continue to progress. So even though James is going to take a while to max out because of the knife shortage and how long you have to wait in order to actually acquire the knives to level him up, I am looking forward to this team growing because it just has such a high damage output and as soon as they change collateral too, James will be so much more effective in my opinion because he's able to apply that 100% damage to, I think it's up to three tunes adjacent to him if he has a critical attack. And I'm still trying to rework his weapon a bit. I need to get some AP on it. I'll probably up the crit that's already on it. Um, there's a few things that I would like to do also with Sean's weapon. I want to get a weapon that has plus 25% attack for the first three waves of a match, and then a huge bonus to AP, and plus 35% attack because I think that will maximize his attack the most, especially if I'm trying to win in the first three turns of the match. And thankfully, I was actually able to craft the plus 25% attack for the first three waves of the match yesterday. So now my weapon is back in the armory and I'm hoping to get a huge bonus to AP when attacking because I think overall the math works out where the plus 25% attack will be worth more than the additional 5%. So a huge bonus to AP is the most important piece next in order to try and get him to rush uh, a turn earlier, I believe. If I'm able to use my command team and he's able to gain some AP outside of normal attacks. Or if I run an 8% AP weapon to everyone on the team on Camilla, right now I think I have an impair weapon when attacking on her, but don't quote me on that at this moment because I know I switched around her weapon a few times in war. So this team overall has been pretty solid for me so far, and I find that Lily really helps the team out because I'm finding a lot of teams that have uh, hold the line tunes or use a tune that increases the uh, defense of the team. So by using Lily, I'm able to eliminate that defensive bonus. And as you saw at the end of that match, Camilla's burn ended up coming into play because burn spreads to other tunes when the tune that you're targeting ends up dying from it and they're still under the influence of burn. Now, Camilla, I haven't changed her mod set yet, but after a few hours I ended up fixing her mod set to be a bit more defensive and added a graze mod onto her just because at the beginning of war she was still tier one I think and since then I've moved her up to tier three and she's surviving a lot more so during some of these matches you might see her dying sometimes and that's mainly because she's the only yellow tune on my team so all greens will be targeting her and then also she's just weak right now I don't have a perfect weapon for her, I don't have perfect mods for her, and I'm trying her on a completely new team. I have never used a combination like this before, because right now it's just a heavy damage team between uh, James and Sean, they produce so much damage, and then there's a bit of control between Lily and Cole, and Camilla kind of just brings it all together by being that attack lead that I was missing because Jackson was an absolute wreck in my opinion. He was just a terrible free-to-play lead that we were given in my opinion. He could have been so much better. He had so much potential, but nothing I can do about that. Sean is coming into play again, which is really nice, and I find that he's a lot more effective now, of course with veteran rings because he hits even harder, but I'm able to one-shot some tunes on the first turn with Sean actually like I ended up one-shotting I think it was Michelle which you know isn't a huge deal because she's an attack lead but at the same time uh, by obviously eliminating tunes on the opponent's team at the beginning of a match you create an advantage for yourself assuming that they're not a retribution tune and you didn't just give the opponent a bunch of AP Another team that I ran a fair bit in war is this blue attack team, which I'm sure you've seen before. Uh, sometimes instead of Cole, I'll use Sophia, but I find that Cole's been very effective, especially because of his disarm weapon. So he's been super useful, his taunt to three with his active skill and with his rush. 
and then when we take a look the rest of his team just has a bunch of control and a tune that I kind of want to work into this team but haven't figured out how to at the moment is Tara because of her honor roll ability it's just I don't really have an attack buff for this team like uh, Andrea has a defense down when attacking weapon but overall this team can take a while sometimes to defeat the enemy it is pretty good against payback in my opinion because the guardian shield helps prevent that I have a healing tune I have a bunch of control with taunt stun confuse and impair if any of you have a free to play team that you would like to share that works against a lot of these uh, promo teams feel free to leave that in the comment section below with what tunes you use and teams that you end up beating utilizing that team so overall this whole war was fairly successful for me personally i made my 200k uh milestone my faction did okay this was probably our worst finish in quite a while and you know what part of it was just bad timing it was a terrible time for euros and even americans based on when it finished during the workday basically so i'm actually going to see if those tokens will carry over as you see i place second in the arena for the champions arena on classic mode i had a number of tickets so i was able to use all my free entries and out of that i got some coins that we don't get any longer in um, the qualifying uh, league stretch and i got 30 rings which is great because this basically tells me that as I keep playing, I'm still going to get rings after rings after rings, which is great because it means I can upgrade the team I have now in order to be successful. I hope war was successful for everyone else as well. Thank you for watching and listening to my video.